Hi, my name is Mike Garia. I am the Facility Maintenance Manager here at DC Ranch and today we're going to show you how to change a photo cell. A photo cell is a alternative to a switch and what that does is it keeps your lights on or any electrical attached to it from dusk to dawn. And this is the photo cell. This photo cell runs between seven and eleven dollars depending on where you purchase it at. Basically it's pretty simple. It's made out of plastic. There's three wires. The black wire is the power. The red wire is the load and the white wire is the neutral. Before we change it we're gonna have to shut the power down. As you can see this is the breaker box right here and the first thing we're going to do is shut the power off to the photo cell because we don't want to work on live wires. To make it even safer the best thing to do after the power shut off to make sure it's off is one of two things. One you can either cover the photo eye with electrical tape make sure you put enough tape on it so we don't get any sunlight through because the object is when it's when it's covered or if it's dark that's what uh, en engages the lights to go on through the photo cell. We'll leave it on for a few minutes and make sure that the lights don't come on. If they don't come on then I know the power's off. The power's off and the next thing I'm going to do is take the tape off the photo eye and at this point I'm going to remove uh, the face plate uh, which is attached to the photo eye. Uh, normally there are two screws. Always make sure that you put the screws where you can easily find them. On the uh, attached to the photo eye is a threaded plastic washer which holds the photo eye onto the electrical plate. And what you want to do before you change it out is unscrew that and you want to free the eye from the plate. As you can see. First thing we do after we shut the power off, we've already covered the eye to make sure that it's off and we want to do another check on it. So we disengage the plate from the eye and now we check for to really make sure that the power is off. This is a power tester that I'm using and normally if there's power, the tip of this here will light up and we'll get a beeping sound. As you can tell, there is no power at this point. It's always confusing when you're disconnecting wires and reconnecting. My advice is there's three wires on the photo eye. The black is the power, the red is the load, which means just goes to the switch, and the white is always a neutral. I strongly recommend that you take the cap off for the black first, the power. And the best way to do it so it's less confusing once you have all the wires off is once you disconnect one wire, connect it to where it needs to go instead of disconnecting all three at one time. and then put the cap back on. The second wire is a neutral which is the white which I'm going in and I'm going to take the cap off now off the neutral line. As you can see the wires are attached together. I'm taking that one off and I'm putting in the new neutral line. screwing the cap back on which holds the wires back in place the last wire I'm taking off is the red basically once the photo cell has been changed is you put all the wiring back in the box before you turn the power on and you, you attach the face plate to the photo eye and just push the wires in Take the face plate and attach the plastic ring to secure it to the face plate. You can 
continue to push the wires in and then install the screws into the box. And then our next step is we're going to turn the power on. To make sure that everything is working correctly before we leave, we want to cover the photo eye to make sure that the lights come back on. Once they come on, uh, then we know it was installed correctly and we're not have, we don't have a faulty photo cell. Always put a lot of tape in, make sure that no sunlight or anything can get in there. Um, and it takes anywhere between 20 seconds to two minutes, up to two minutes for the lights to come on through the photo cell. Walking around to the front of the house, as you can see, uh, the light is working. And what I'm going to do now is leave the camera on the light and I'm going to go remove the tape from the photo cell. And at that point, within a few seconds, the light should go off. So bear with me. And there we go. That was a perfect install. The light just went off and uh, you're ready to go. Well, I'm happy to tell you that everything went well. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Mike Carryung and I am reachable at 480-585-8654. Thank you and have a great day.